All right, man, forgive the mess in my shop here. I just went out to make a quick video for you. I'm gonna set it right here. Let me get this thing nice and tuned up in here. I'll put my vise about like so. All right, so you want a detail on how you do it. Let me see if I can get this thing into focus right. All right, so uh, basically you have your little crossbar like so, and the angle just needs to be tipped up a little bit. Basically, look at the gap right there. You see, it, you can just kind of eyeball it. See, there's a little bit of gap. It might take a couple of different, um, basically, bends to make it because you don't want to overstress it. And when you grab it, hold up here close to it. If you hold way down here and put a lot of torque on it, it's going to end up breaking. So you don't want to do that. Best thing to do is get your vise, set it up about like this. Now I'm gonna put it in the vise. And remember this end, I'm wanting to be a little bit higher. So basically I'm gonna just ever so slightly, I'm gonna grip up here toward the top so that I don't end up putting too much torque on it. And I'm gonna just bend a little bit, not too hard. And I'm just gonna hold it for a minute, see how it feels. All right, let me look at it. That may have changed the angle just slightly. All right, I'm gonna bend a little bit more. It's hard to say how much pressure you put on there. You do it, you can feel it. You're like, okay, I can feel if I do any more, it's gonna be bad. Um, now, what I'm about to do is put this back in the weapon and try it and see if it's helping the reset. I can see just maybe ever so slightly it changed the angle. You don't wanna do it big. And then if it helped at all, like say it was doing it 50% of the time and now it's like one out of three, you're going the right direction. Be like, all right, I'm gonna do this a little bit more. Now, I also took a heat gun um, on a previous time and I heated up the vise right here just so it wasn't cold. And I just heated this up. Not enough to take a temper or anything out of it, just so that it's not cold because cold metal will have a tendency just to fracture and snap. So there, I'm gonna do a little bit more and put a little bit more pressure on it. Oh, let me uh, tighten this up just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, a little too much there. All right, put it back in there just a little bit. All right. There we go. All right, that should be good. Let's take a little look at it. All right, it appears to be about the correct angle. All right, we're going to give it a little try. But you want a detail on how you get it bent. That's how you do it.